Why a welcome center for Emmanuel College? It would create a welcoming first impression experience for prospective students and their families that is easy to find and access. It would establish an identity and location for the School of Business and Management, which would help to support our current expansion and enrollment goals. It would allow us to provide dedicated resources to the School of Business and Management, including finance labs and high-end computing labs that we need in order to keep pace with our competitors. It would improve the campus appearance by removing aging and unattractive Avenue Commons trailers. It would allow us to add a multifunctional space for various programming needs. And finally, it would let us relocate the Career Center closer to admissions to emphasize the outcome of an Emanuel education to prospective students. A quote from American School and University. In order to compete, for the best and brightest students. Higher education institutions are embarking upon a trend in facilities to put their best face forward. Welcome centers. The emergence of welcome centers, often doubling as admissions office, is one of the most significant trends in education architecture. Developing these purpose-driven facilities offers institutions a chance to project a strong first impression for student recruitment. We will now take a look at competitor schools that seem to agree with this statement. First impressions from our competing schools. Salve Regina has a very impressive building that doubles as a welcome center and an admissions office. It is also clear they've devoted a significant amount of resources to this building. Assumption University also has a standalone building that is a welcome center and admissions office. It is also clear that this is the first building that you should enter upon visiting their campus. Stonehill College has a standalone building that is a welcome center and admissions office. It is particularly easy to find because it is the May Welcome Center, making it the only building to have the word Welcome Center in the title. Endicott College has its own building that serves as both an admissions hall and a welcome center. Our competitor, Merrimack College, has the Arcidi Center which is very clearly the welcome area to the college. We will now discuss how the addition of a welcome center would free up resources for our school of business. A quote from the Journal of College Teaching and Learning. In order to provide business students a current and relevant education, schools in the US and abroad are increasingly adapting the latest technology in the instruction of finance. A finance lab typically provides real-time or delayed market data, simulation and risk analysis software to illustrate various financial concepts and to train students in the use of technology. Let's look at the resources that our competitors have devoted to their schools of business. You will see that Stonehill College has its own standalone building for their school of business. And inside you will find impressive labs, as well as things like ticker tape, and monitors that help create an identity and a feel for the School of Business, something that incoming students would be impressed by. Merrimack College has a standalone building for its School of Business, and it's devoted a significant amount of resources to technology and classrooms. While not in its own standalone building, Assumption University has an identity for its School of Business. It is the Grenin School of Business. As you can see by its classroom on the left, Assumption has devoted significant resources to its business program. In all cases, these welcome centers and schools of business are easy to locate, offer dedicated resources to support functions including admissions, career development, business instruction, event programming, and enhance visual appeal. In comparison to Emanuel College, when you drive into campus and you pass through security, you are directed to park near some double wide trailers as you can see in the picture there. This trailer is your first impression of Emanuel College. Unlike the easy to find and often standalone buildings that our competing schools have, our admissions area is difficult to find and it's on the second floor of the Wilkins Science Center. It is not readily apparent. Visiting families often find themselves asking students or staff on the first floor of the building for help in locating the office. 
Unlike competing schools, the Emanuel College School of Business and Management does not have a prominent presence on campus. It is a small office suite with faculty offices on the fourth floor of the Eisner Administration Building. As a potential student and his or her parents drive onto campus, they stop and pass by the security booth. The first building they will see on the left as they drive to the parking lot, where they are directed by a security, is the Avenue Commons. This building is really a double-wide trailer. It is not attractive and not the building that houses admissions. Our peer competitor colleges often have that first easy-to-access building as their admissions area. This trailer is a stark contrast to the building that our competitors have as their welcome areas. Once out of the car, a visitor to campus is not necessarily sure where they would go when first arriving on campus, and it is not readily apparent. They see the Wilkins Science Center and the library, and will usually walk in the right direction to the Science Center, though often they think it is the wrong building as it is called the Wilkins Science Center. Admissions is on the second floor of this building, which is not apparent and often visitors will inquire of students and staff as to where admissions is located. As for the School of Business and Management at Emanuel, it is up on the fourth floor of the administration building but rather a small area in the corner of the fourth floor, which does not have a clear sense of identity. It, too, is a stark contrast to our competitors' schools of business. To improve the visitor experience and address the issues noted previously, two Welcome Center options were considered. The first was an addition to the existing library building. The second was a freestanding separate building. Options considered. The freestanding option would cost one third of an addition to the library. A freestanding building would be approximately $10 million. The freestanding option would provide more flexibility with design because of lack of constraints introduced by connecting to the existing library building. The building would increase the square footage of the current trailers from 2,800 square feet to 8,000 square feet. And finally, a freestanding option would allow for the further development of an addition to the library for future needs. Here is the architect's exterior and interior drawings of a freestanding welcome center at Emanuel College. Key features. It will have admissions and career center staff offices. It will offer the academic program an auditorium-like space with an interactive wall that will accommodate large events for students. It will include rooms for prospective student interviews and will host employer interview sessions. Significance of Institutional Master Plan The Institutional Master Plan, or IMP, must be updated by May 2022. IMPs are submitted to the City of Boston every 10 years. The IMP informs the City of a college's campus facility plans over 10 years. It is significant work to update the IMP. The current one is 230 pages, so it is important that any plans for a welcome center be included in the new IMP. Closing notes. A welcome center would make a strong and memorable first impression when arriving on campus. Our peer colleges all have these facilities and have invested significant money in welcoming potential students and their families to their campuses. Emanuel has earned more than $36 million in investment gains from our endowment over the last two years. A freestanding welcome center is one-third the cost of an attached building to the library. The cost of the Welcome Center would be approximately $10 million. A freestanding Welcome Center allows for further development of an addition to the library for future needs. A Welcome Center would offer the college a much needed space for the School of Business and Management. The college would use the building of the new Welcome Center as a naming opportunity to raise money to defray the cost of construction. The Emanuel College Welcome Center.